Welcome back. Two-time Brownlow medalist Nat Fife is back in the starting 22, ready to take on Geelong. Neil Erasmus is out of the side, his workload being managed, while Matt Johnson is a chance to be the sub. Fife shrugs off the sub ta tag after two weeks in the role as he battles a challenging injury. I sat down with the Wally Lup champion this morning. Nat, you're back. How has it felt the last couple of weeks being the sub, being back out there? It's been really good just to get back onto the park with the players. Um, this plantar fascia injury has been somewhat unique in that I'm out there playing but still with a fair bit of pain. I had a point there, Ryan, where I was just praying that it would just break in half and I could get on with the business of, of playing footy. But um, a similar time that another player, Tom Lynch from Richmond, he had his surgically snapped, he then went on and broke his foot. So that kind of settled me down a little bit and the physios were great in just giving me that long-term view that this is an important part of your foot, let's do the rehab properly. But we tried cortisone, we rested it, ice, compression, strapped it in different ways. Um, I used some different footwear, I got a baseball boot from New Zealand, um, I've got a carbon fibre plate in my shoe at the moment. I haven't worn bare feet really walking around for three months. Um, we used shockwave treatment. I slept in a Strasbourg sock for a couple of months, which keeps your foot in an upright position, doesn't let it drop down. That's so got to be uncomfortable. It was tough. Yeah. <laughs> well, we feel like we threw everything at it. Are you worried that something can go wrong? There's always a little bit of concern, but with this injury, it's more just what can you tolerate, and I'll just deal with a little bit of discomfort. It might um, flare up a bit after that, but then week on week, hopefully I can get into a consistent rhythm where I should be able to play the full season uninhibited. Things crossed. <laughs> We saw you doing, when you first came back when you were the sub, and you didn't really do a lot in the warm-up pre-game. You sat on the bench sort of in the back row. It was, wasn't really any run-throughs. <laughs> we were all fascinated by it because, like, is he going to warm up at any point? <laughs> what was the process here? Because it was obviously deliberate. Yeah, so with this injury, you basically have one bullet in the chamber in that once you warm up um, and get through that initial discomfort, as soon as you cool down, um, you're kind of done for the day. So our thinking with it was that we wait as long as possible. And when the decision was made that I'd be coming on, I'd go and do my warm-up then and then start playing. So that's why I was in the tracky pants for most of the game, um, sitting there quite edgy, um, just waiting for my time to go. Will you ever be Nat Fife again, or the old <laughs> Nat Fife? You're still Nat Fife, but will you ever be that Nat Fife? Is that possible? I don't think I will be that player. And I think realistically I've got to... Um, accept that I won't sort of be explosive and jump in the same way but excitingly I feel like I've learnt some new craft to be able to be a different player and evolve again. 2013-14 um, version of me was different to 2019 and I think um, the final chapter to my career will dish up a different player and more importantly a different type of leader which can help us in a way I think which will have greater influence than any, any playing ability I've had before. At the peak of your game you're superhuman, you're one of the best if not the best player in the AFL and then you've got to sit on the bench for the better part of two years, you've got to come back as the sub, how, how humbling has it been? It's been incredibly humbling, um, I had my sort of dark night of the soul year last year where just nothing would go right and I went back and played for Peel um, and had to try and build my way back to playing AFL footy and still didn't feel like I belonged out there. So. Um, yeah, humbling is the right word and it's just such a beautiful experience to be able to grow that depth um, and to be able to connect with other players in a different way. So yeah, I feel like this experience as a player and as a human has only been beneficial. 